Hello, my name is Sarah and I'm from the Department of English Literature at the University of Reading. Today I'm going to introduce you to a part two module titled Victorian Literature. The Victorian era is one of great diversity and tension. It is a period when authors began to think about man's place in the world without God, about the workings of the mind and the role of class and gender in the construction of identity. This module will engage with these and other ideas looking at some of the greatest works in Victorian literature. This module aims to provide students with an understanding of many of the major developments of the literature in the Victorian period. It is designed to develop student skills of close texture and anal analysis and to equip them to recognise a number of the main topics in and the chief influences upon the poetry and prose in the period. By the end of the module, students will be expected to analyse in detail the language and other distinctive features of the texts studied, identify the influence of major movements of the Victorian period, Consider the possibilities of different literary forms, whether novel, poetry or non-fiction prose. Engage critically with the ideas presented in lectures, seminars or secondary materials. And finally, organise and articulate a coherent written argument, both in coursework essays and under timed examination conditions. Students will be looking at... Charlotte Bronte's Villette, um, Harday's Return of the Native, poetry such as Tennyson's In Memoriam and Barrett Browning's Sonnets from the Portuguese, and plays such as Wilde's A Woman of No Importance. Assessment methods will be 67% written exam and 33% written assignment including an essay. The formative essay will be 1,500 words and the assessed essay will be between 1,800 to 2,000 words. Thank you very much for listening to this screencast on Victorian literature.